<clears throat> Peace family, this is Lions Den with another news and commentary. Uh, we have a situation in Florida. Um, a, a, a black man who's taking his son, a, his five-year-old son, to at a convenience store to buy a candy bar. Unfortunately, a white supremacist confronted his girlfriend over a handicapped parking space. That leads up to a man come out defending her, end up shot and killed, kill him. And now I'm, I'm going to give you more details of this after um, this video from Phil from the Advice Show. So I'm going to play this video from Phil from the Advice Show's version of it. And I'm going to give you the rest of my commentary. <laughs> You had a father that went into a convenience store with his five-year-old son to buy a candy bar. While he's inside of the store, he hears a white supremacist arguing with his girlfriend about a handicapped spot. And he went out, he heard what was going on, he went to defend his girlfriend, which any man would do that. But once he decided to defend his girlfriend and push the guy to the ground, you had this white supremacist that had a history of just messing with black people, calling black people the N-word, he shot and killed his brother just on the spot. Let's roll the clip. He slipped out saying he would shoot me. So so when I left, then he called my owner of my company stating that he was going to kill me. Rich Kelly says the man who confronted him was upset. He parked in a handicapped space. It's the same thing that Michael Draco was upset about Thursday when he was yelling at a woman in this parking lot. This is surveillance camera video from the store. It shows Marquise McLaughlin leave the store to defend his girlfriend and shove Draco hard to the ground. Draco then pulls out a gun and shoots McLaughlin square on the chest. We're pausing this video the frame before McLaughlin is shot. He dies soon afterwards, right in front of his five-year-old son. The store owner says McLaughlin was a frequent customer who was there buying a candy bar for his little boy. Sad to see his son right in the, dying in front of his son. That's for a parking lot, for a stupid reason, just to argue, just to find someone to argue with. The store owner says he had to call the cops a month ago on Draco when he got in a yelling match with Rich Kelly. Out here he said he'll shoot me, call me and stuff like that, so... It's, it, I mean, I think it's a racial issue. Now, this morning, deputies tell us they are still investigating, but because Michael Draca does have a legally requ uh, acquired uh, concealed weapons permit, right now, authorities tell us this could qualify as a stand your ground case. You, you saw the surveillance. Okay, guys. I'm going to stop right there. And thanks to Phil from the Advice Show for covering this story. This sounds to me of like a George Zimmerman type attack. We have a man, and this is like I said, this is the first time that he did, did do something like this. Now remember, you heard that brother talking before that it happened with him, and luckily nothing happened to him. But all he did was he the white supremacist. I mean, this this black brother who was killed now came to to this convenience store. To buy his five-year-old son a candy bar. Then he saw the white supremacist coming at his girlfriend over over a handicapped parking space. Then when he walked out and pushed the brother, you see the surveillance video. He pushed the man down to defend her. The guy shot and killed him. And now they said it's reported as a stand your ground law. Now. This reminds you of the George Zimmerman thing, right? So, basically, obviously, he feared for his life. And remember, he didn't have no gun on him. And yet, he pulled out his gun and shot and killed him in front of his five-year-old son. See, this is why it bothers me so much that every single time... I'm telling you, this Daniel Ground Law, in my opinion, is messing up people's lives. It really has. Look what happened to um, the Trayvon Martin case. How George Zimmerman got away with murdering him thanks to this Daniel Ground Law. And Marissa Alexander, the black woman who was feared for her life from her estranged husband. And they, and they gave her 20 years in prison for standing her ground. And until, you know, now, they, he, now he, she became, she worked as a, gave her good behavior and give her lesser sentence. And now this story. 
See, obviously, it's, it's getting to a point now that the stand your ground law is getting way out of hand with cases and it needs to be addressed. And so, but yet he doesn't have a weapon. And that's the thing. He didn't have a weapon on him that he feared for his life. He, he came up to him. I'm telling you, he came up to, the brother just defended his girlfriend over a handicapped parking space. And, he, and, it, and, and the guy who's talking on the field, I mean, on, on his news clip there, he said he had a problem with him before. And, and then he had to call his job, and he almost got in trouble for that. So you see, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I said this is so important for this ridiculous claim of stand your ground because he didn't fear for his life. All he did was defend his woman from him. And again, you, you, you hear this time and time again with the stand your ground law. This is um, this has to be addressed. I'm serious. This stand your ground law in the state of Florida has to be addressed. That's what got George Zimmerman off. That's what got um, Marissa Alexander giving her 20 years. And she deserved her stand your ground law, but, not, but didn't get it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this shows again another case of racial attack by a white supremacist and uh, and lied and said he feared for his life. All he all the brother did was just push push him down and he hadn't even had no weapons on him. And the guy and the white guy shot and killed him. Ridiculous. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this video. Share this video. Subscribe my YouTube channel. Subscribe my reacting channel and subscribe my Black Junction channel for more um, news and commentary. With that being said, it's Lions Inside and All. Deuces.